Hello, this is Mr. Chuck Schalhorn for your AP Psych Review, and today's topic is descriptive statistics, specifically correlation. Correlation is one of those things that is often confused because people uh, don't quite get what correlation is all about. You have to look at correlation as a strength of relationship. How strong is a relationship? Not that one is causing the other, but how strong is the relationship? Because it's measured um, by a statistic called the spearman rank correlation coefficient. And your, your answer is always going to be between negative 1 and positive 1. If it's not between those two numbers, then it's not a correlation math um, correct answer. It's going to be an incorrect answer. So the further away from zero you get, the stronger the answer is. So a negative 0.8 is stronger than a positive 0.6. And this is true for any set of correlation numbers that you might have. When you're looking at multiple choice questions, look for the term association or relationship. That's a dead giveaway that it's probably going to be correlation. Remember, correlation does not equal causation. It's simply a relationship. Originally, it was the Spearman rank correlation coefficient, and it has this wonderful multi-level formula which is great if you're taking an AP stats, but for us in AP Psych, we don't need to worry about it, so that's pretty cool. One of the ways that you can look at correlation data is with a scatter plot or a scattergram or a scatter graph. Depends on uh, who your teacher is and what your book says. But a scattergram, it's going to look like this. And this is just a quick Google search for positive correlation. And so if you take a look at positive correlations, you will notice that they all tend to form an oval along a bottom left to top right format. That's going to be a positive correlation visually. And these kinds of questions have been on previous AP Psych exams. So this is going to be a positive uh, correlation. The variables are going in the same direction at the same time. So as one variable goes up, the other variable goes up. So as my height goes up, so does my weight. Again, it's just a relationship, not cause and effect. Negative correlation is going to be just the opposite. So it's going to go top left to bottom right. And so you're going to find the same kind of oval uh, in the relationship among the various variables that you are examining and looking at. So you're going to have a, an inverse relationship with those variables. Zero correlation, and I, I love this one down here because it actually shows you a circle. There's going to be no mathematical relationship between those two variables. They're going to be spread out and in a non-linear fashion. Some examples, as I mentioned before, height and weight. The taller people are, the more they tend to weigh. The higher your high school GPA, the more likely you are to have college success. So you have predictions that you can do. Watching violence on TV and a tendency toward violent behavior in adolescence. So the more TV that you watch with violence, the more likely you are to engage in violent behavior. It's not saying that it causes, it just says there's a relationship. Bigger the shoes when you're in the NBA, there's a relationship there. It's a correlation. You, big feet do not cause people to be in the NBA. Trust me on this one. Elevation above sea level and temperature. So the higher you are, the lower the temperature. There's an inverse relationship there. So that's going to be a negative relationship. SAT scores in school connected to GPA. There tends to be a strong relationship there. Marijuana smoking and relationship troubles. So the more a person smokes marijuana, the more relationship troubles they're going to have. Or another way of, depending on how they phrase it, the more a person smokes marijuana, the less likely they'll be in relationships that are successful. Interesting. Um, gender and depression. Females tend to uh, become more depressed than men, have a higher rate of depression, I should say. And males tend to score higher on SAT math scores. I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm not saying that one causes the other. It's simply a relationship. And that's one of the things about correlation. They're great for prediction, and they're also great for creating hypotheses for other methods.